Hello everyone and welcome back to another wonderful segment of Island Girl Foods TV. So today you're joining me in the Bahamas again for one of my favorite seafood dishes and fish by the way. I'm talking about grouper. Yes, that delicious, succulent, firm, but lean texture fish. There's many types of grouper. Today I'm using a red grouper, but in the Bahamas, a very popular grouper is the Nassau grouper. Now, grouper is a part of the sea bass family. So if you can't find grouper, then go ahead and use sea bass or any thick, nice white fish. So our recipe today is grouper fingers, or we'll call it Nassau grouper finger, the island where I was born. Remember to hit that subscribe button, like, and leave a comment on what other recipes you would like to see. Or if you've tried some of the recipes already, let me know how it worked out for you. If you're going, let's go. So I'm wearing my food safety gloves because we're going to be seasoning our grouper with my Bohemian fish seasoning. So therefore, we're going to be touching fiery scotch bonnet peppers. Now, if you don't want the heat, then omit the seeds of the pepper. Just use the skins. Okay, so let me show you how this is done. So I have my wonderful grouper fingers, uh, really big fingers. This is what we, the way we prepare it in the Bahamas. And um, it's usually taken from the belly or the sides of the fish. So you want to rinse your fish and then dry it. And what I like to do, because I love a little lime flavor, as a matter of fact, Bohemians prefer to use lime over lemons with our seafood. So I'm just going to go over my group of meat with a little lime here. The group of meat, the texture is really thick, so it can handle it. And then I'm still going to get that lime and a little, you know, chili flavor with it. Everyone already know that sea salt happens to be my favorite salt. We're using fine sea salt. This is about two tablespoons. And I have already about a quarter piece of scotch bonnet pepper already diced. But for our seasoning mix, our bohemian fish seasoning, what I do is pour the salt out on my cutting board. The chilies go on top. And this is why you want to wear a food safety glove because sometimes uh, the heat from the seeds can... Uh, really tingle your fingers a bit and you don't want it between your nails. So we're going to use our knife and just go back and forth to blend our chili in with the sea salt. And you're making the chili very fine the same time as the salt. And there you have it. This is the salt that we'll be using. It's a pepper salt <laughs> to season our fish with. What we're just going to do is we're going to take some of this uh, salt and pepper and season both sides of our fish. Not too heavy on the salt. Just need a little. A little goes a long way. And you know, with this salt and pepper mixture you can also use a mortar and pestle as we also do in the islands in the bahamas we have the cousin of scotch bonnet which we call goat pepper you may also use habanero pepper they're all family it's all good my grouper is nicely seasoned and the remaining salt and pepper seasoning here. You can cover it, put it in an airtight uh, container and just keep it on your counter for whatever you're preparing 
um, fish or seafood again. It really gives it a wonderful burst of flavor, not, over, not overpowering with the heat of the chili at all. To me, it's a beautiful, perfect balance. So now for my dredging process, I have a can of evaporated milk here and one egg. This egg's going in. Whisk. And you know, you can go ahead and use buttermilk if you have it, but I'm staying true to my culture because we use evaporated milk instead. It's the milk of the Caribbean. <laughs> then I love to add my dry ingredients to a food safe bag. It just uh, helps with, you know, all the mess all over the place instead of doing, you know, dredging in the wet liquid and then to dry and then wet again. So this works for me, especially when I'm home. And what I have here is about two cups of all-purpose flour and I also add a cup of cornstarch to it as cornstarch help for that nice crispy crust which I'm looking for in this delicious group of fingers right and I also have some tri-colored peppercorns that I've ground it up I love speckles of peppercorns throughout those delicious golden fried group of fingers so I'll be using approximately about one tablespoon adding it to my flour mixture shake it up a bit try to keep myself from sneezing because when those peppercorns get up there it's like ooh. <laughs> okay let's see if it mixed thoroughly okay nice all right so i'm going in i'll use even though I have on gloves, I'm going to go ahead and use uh, my tongs. And I'm adding a few pieces of my group of fingers to my milk mixture. Open up my bag. In it goes. This is going to be so good, guys. Okay. And the wonderful thing about the belly meat of the grouper is that there's no bones, so you can just go for it, you know? And the size of the grouper, if you use that, then you can just basically pull the bones away with a tweezer. That's the wonderful thing with a meaty fish. All right, so my oil seems to be ready. I'm gonna place in the first piece. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add these other pieces to my milk mixture. And if you guys have, also use a deep fryer, but by all means, you can go ahead and deep fry your group of fingers in a wok, in a deep skillet like I'm using. And I'm frying it at about 350 to 355 degrees. So pretty much about four to five minutes is all you need okay so now look at the color guys these are golden crispy deliciousness if you have kids who love fish fingers this will change their lives okay <laughs> now that my crispy golden fried group of fingers are ready the perfect accompaniment to it is my sweet peppery tartar sauce. I'll demo how to put this together. So we have approximately a cup of mayo. I'm going in with about a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. A half of lemon juice or juice of half a lemon. I have some wonderful roast red bell pepper that I've diced. This is about a quarter cup of diced bell peppers. 
and then delicious sweet relish going in this is also approximately a quarter cup so it all goes in and you can use your fork and just fold everything in now when I want a little bit more spice to my tartar sauce, I add in some cherry peppers. About one or two will do just fine. Well, here we have it. Our delicious group of fingers with our sweet and peppery tartar sauce. Now, a sensational fish dish in the Bahamas has to be accompanied by some wonderful tropical coleslaw. And I have just that. I prepared it ahead of time. And of course, we couldn't do without our Bohemian peas and rice. So everything together is going to make an amazing dish. I'm going to put a plate together and show you how it's going to come out. And it is dinner time. So, guys, if you love what you see, remember to always hit that like and also leave me a comment and I'll keep bringing all of these fabulous recipes to you. And until next time, remember, stay true to your Island Girl TV show because nobody does it better.